Definitely not the best batch, but it's all right. Hey guys, so this is my review for a film called Pandemic. Now, some of you might be wondering what that movie is. I don't know if it's playing in the States for you, but I know it's on the internet. Anyway, this was a film that had a bit of a bit of attention from a trailer that they released last year. It's a first-person point of view film about a team of soldiers and scientists going into Los Angeles to find survivors and also they actually the funny thing is they haven't really it's not about finding a cure because this virus is like sort of a mix of the rage virus, zombie virus, epidemic stuff. I'm a sucker for films about diseases and quarantines and whatnot. And I've I've always been kind of under let down in movies, at least. Books, there's a bunch of cool books about it. However, with movies, I kind of get a little bit let down because usually a lot of these suffer from dumb scientist syndrome because well, for instance, in Prometheus, remember when they land on the planet and they go inside the ship and they find an area where it's like, oh hey, it's breathable air. Let's take off more helmets. I don't care if you've got breathable air. You're a scientist. That's dumb. That's really dumb. For this film, it's commendable. It tries, but the thing that's very much holding it back, it's, it's near non-existent budget. And it shows. Like, the suits itself, I'm amazed they were able to get a camera that could fit in there for the budgetary means because it's not a wide-angle lens, like a wide enough lens that you would normally see in this sort of situation. Also, the suits, okay, she's got a, a helmet on, right? What's on the back? It's all mesh. Like, you can see through it. Like, it's just not... Okay, the, in the film, the virus isn't airborne, supposedly. There's actually not a lot of information about the virus, which I didn't mind, but I would have liked a little bit more about where it started, how, what's going on with the world. So, in the end, the film itself was... It's pitch patch, because there's a lot of moments in the film that are actually really stupid, like dumb. But there's also moments that are actually quite creative, and I was like, hmm, you know what? I actually was kind of surprised with that. The film, at the beginning though, it starts off like a video game tutorial. Because uh, the guy who, from CSI, he's telling the main character, Alright, let's step into this room and put, like make sure the suit is sealed, and turn left, turn right, up, down, <laughs> a little flashlight on, night vision, all that crap. The thing is, though, what I found so funny is, you're like, okay, we're gonna check and see if your suit's pressurized, yet he gets behind a steel fence, like, not a door, not a secure door, a grate, like, holes that completely breaks the point of checking to see if the suit is seal-proof. So, the film itself, it's, it's got some decent action for its budget, and it's got a bunch of cool action scenes, like, the very beginning, like, within, when they enter into Los Angeles. Right off the bat, there's a bunch of people there that are burr, 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 and I'm like, holy crap, actually, that was kind of, it was, it's humor, and it's a little bit, but it's like, wow, it's right off the bat. Like, bang, 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 shooting a bunch of zombies, or whatever they are. Half of them are zombies, half of them are just crazy people. There's a few minute moments of cannibalism, and there's all these different factors of who's infected with what, and, and they, it's, it's kind of like multiverse, virus stuff i don't know it, it's a little bit odd but as for the characters themselves the characters are actually not too bad because they're portrayed by an actually decent cast we got the girl from continuum we've got that black guy who was eminem's buddy in eight mile and we've got the dickhead son from john wick who he does actually he's probably one of my favorite characters in this film and then we've got that creepy lady who is creeping on Ben Affleck and Gone Girl. Obviously we've seen so many of these types of movies that a lot of things don't really surprise you. However, there is one moment in the middle that kind of surprised me and I was, I was like, hey, you know what, that's pretty good. The film does move a little slow and sometimes and it did kind of draw away my attention. And while the action scenes are cool, there are moments where all the zombies or whatever they are, the infected are suffering from Assassin's Creed combat syndrome where they're attacking you one at a time and you kill one, you kill one. Also, as I said, the lens itself is not a wide enough angle, at least for what they're wanting, because a lot of the fight scenes are just jarring. Now, that's obvious a thing for a film like this. However, there's moments where stuff, people just appear out of nowhere. That or it's, little, it's editing. The editing is very, it's very thematic. It's trying to scare you. That's another thing, too. There's a lot of moments where music will just chime in, which is a little bit silly because when I watch a first person point of view film, I'm not expecting a soundtrack. Now, you may think I'm weird with this, but Night Shyamalan, Shyamalan last year did it perfectly with The Visit. 
silence can be horrifying if done right, and that's something that this film could have used because there's a bunch of parts where music is put in, and I was like, you didn't need that. You didn't. The film was already doing a decent enough job with the visuals. We don't need audio to make it scarier. So while the film is a little bit pitch patch, and the budget could have definitely done with a little bit more money, I still think the film is commendable. I'm for people who are fans of pandemic or quarantine or zombie movies, you'll definitely enjoy this. I did enjoy parts of it. I didn't enjoy the ending too much, but I still thought that I at least the uh, best halfway I was I was entertained. So in the end, I'm gonna give this film a three out of seven. It's all right. It does its best with what it has, and people who like zombie quarantine movies will definitely probably enjoy this. It's also a great build-up for Hardcore Henry when it comes out, or Hardcore Harry. I'm sorry if I got that wrong, but yeah, I'm, I'm stoked for that movie now. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you laters.